Whiskey has always been about taste and status, even though some would beg to differ with the latter. But some well-known whiskey brands come at a hefty price, so expensive that it can't be bought regularly, which is why many are now opting for brandy instead. Nationally, over the last year, local brandy has increased by about 6%, as has whiskey lost that 6%. So yes, there is a possible switch. It often happens in South Africa when the exchange rate goes up and the, the, the price differential between brandy and whiskey becomes apparent. The bulk of the sales are coming from uh, predominantly Viceroy five-year-olds. So it is price driven on that end, but we are seeing some nice growth on our top end brandies, brands like Finn Rains. Um, so for us, it's nice to see that it's coming from both sides. While there has been a marked shift in buying habits, whiskey sales are still the highest in the country. Last year, 39 million litres of whiskey was sold compared to 32 million litres of brandy. All the grapes are grown in South Africa, they're distilled and fermented in South Africa, and it really does um, support the South African industry if we are growing. We've ordered 25% more base wine this year than we did last year so I mean as as the largest player in the industry that is a big boost to the, the farmers that grow our wine. It may be a whiskey once in a while and a brandy every now and then but it's a beer almost every day. Beer is the most consumed alcoholic beverage in South Africa. Currently gin is the fastest growing uh, spirit category. White spirits in South Africa are very strong, vodka and gin. Uh, but gin in particular has been very strong, growing at over 30% over the last year. Brandy sales are expected to continue its upward trend with a projected 0.6% growth this year. Sumitra Nadu, CGT in Johannesburg, South Africa.